What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another minifig showcase. Today I have for you the Twi'lek Assassin from Aerialite Customs, but we all know this is really Darth Talon. Now, Darth Talon is a Legends character who was in fact a Sith Assassin who served under Darth Krayt over 100 years after the Battle of Yavin. And needless to say, she is a little fan servicey. However, I personally bought this figure through Extra Minifigures who you have certainly heard about many times on this channel, and he just launched his own website in which he sells custom minifigures and his own custom sets. And I'm happy to say that you can use the code BRICK to get 5% off your order and help support this channel. But let's get this Twi'lek Assassin Darth Talon out of the box and take a closer look. On one hand, this is a pretty minimal figure, but on the other hand, there are aspects of it which really do stand out. While Area Light's printing is pretty good, at the same time, I can't help but feel like this figure looks extremely flat, which I know is a weird thing to say, so what I guess I'm trying to say is that this looks more like someone had a red torso and printed on it, and less like this character happens to be red. In other words, there is no depth to the printing, at least on the torso. Like all of Area Light's bodies, the hips are in fact curved, but there is no printing there. There is printing on the side of the legs, however nothing on the back. However, the head is exceptionally done with printing even on the tendrils. And that's kind of what I meant earlier. The legs look nice because they are in fact dual molded. The head looks nice because of how the printing is done. The extra added pieces really do add an effect, but there are just some elements like the torso and the overall printing that kind of fall flat. So while this is not a bad figure, I also know that more can be done. Extra Minifigures did send me this custom lightsaber. This does not come from Area Light. It is a Brick Forge lightsaber. Sadly, it is not accurate to what Talon actually carries, but then again, I would be very interested to see if anyone could even make that. Like I said, there is no printing on the sides, and that is probably because of these curved hips, which again is always nice to see. It does add that slight bit more realism. This is really where my conflict comes in because the printing on the legs is exceptionally done. They're dual molded, they are designed well, and they look good, which makes the torso more baffling. One area that I'm not entirely certain on are the arm gauntlets. About half the printed figures that Aerialite Customs offers come with arm gauntlets. She sort of does, but they're definitely nothing as pronounced as, say, what Ahsoka would have. I think representing the long gloves with some black printing would have been a better option. And again, I want to point out just how good the printing on these tendrils are, because that's some pretty fine detail and some really excellent work done there. Even though this is very clearly Darth Talon, there are a lot of aspects of this that make me really question if it should be called that, even though I'm the one calling it that. Like this headpiece, which yes, all Twi'lek females do have, and by the way, comes right off it's actually on there pretty securely thanks to these side pieces it's a wonderful piece it's just not accurate to what we see with talon the loincloth piece down below does stop the legs from moving fully however it is a rubber piece that is pretty flexible it is a really nice addition to this character so i think something like this is a better way to represent it than to actually print that so again overall this figure is really far from being bad and i don't want to give that impression even with the negative aspects I had to say. Those aspects are spoken about because I own several area light figures and know that they can do better, and because some of those aspects are inaccuracies to a character that this technically isn't, but well, we all know it is. Still, for a $25 asking price, I think it is completely worth it. And if you've never tried out area light customs, then maybe head over to extraminifigures.com where he's selling one of their figures for only $14, and you can get an additional 5% off using code BRICK. Please do remember to leave your thoughts in the comments down below, like this video if you liked what you saw, and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for over 500 subscribers, yes, a giveaway is coming. Also, please do check out my Patreon, I could really use the support right now. And if you do, you can have your name on screen like these wonderful people. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.